Well, folks, well, folks, me and the girlfriend, we made a decision, and I did a thing. <laughs> I bought a supercharged RXP jet ski from 2006. And I went down and picked it up with a truck in Newport Ritchie. Just got back not too long ago. It was a good 80-mile drive today to go get one. The only thing I'm not thrilled with is the seat. <sighs> I'm going to have to do something about this. In the pictures when I went to buy it, I didn't see all of this, but he's clearly put some RTV on here that kind of matched the seat a little bit <laughs> to cover some of the cracks and stuff. I mean, it's not horrible, but it could definitely use to be redone. Um, so I might actually just bring the seat in and have it reupholstered. Other than that, it's pretty clean. You know, it's actually fairly good. He just redid everything in the jet drive and fixed the assisted steering for tricks and stunting. Um, it just got a whole new jet drive system in there with reseal. So he did a lot of work to this thing. I uh, got a new fuel pump. I'm probably going to pull these off too because I think they're just foam. Yeah, I'll probably just pull these off and respray them silver because uh, it looks like the silver's just coming off and that's really easy to do. So probably just respray those i mean it's a 2006 it's been sitting in some florida sun damage it was legal it still is legal i could take it out and drive it right meow if i wanted to um because it's obviously still registered uh so we might just do that might just give it a little test ride here seat comes up beautifully or not oh god damn it's heavy all right Oh, it's got a Fortex supercharger in it. The supercharger just got rebuilt. Um, got a complete oil change. He put grease on all the stuff on top, so the grease has been running down. So I'm just going to have to thoroughly give this a good cleaning. Uh, but he greases everything so that it doesn't corrode, which is actually a really smart thing to do. However, it needs to be cleaned up slightly. Um, but other than that, I mean, cranks up perfectly. You can see he just redid all the hoses and fittings. Um, just got new exhaust piping uh rebuilt the supercharger so that's been redone all new piping in the back um i think he also put a new shaft uh drive through there which i can actually see it looks like it's shiny <laughs> he did a lot of work to this thing um god i don't remember how to pick this up oh right here that makes a lot of sense there we go and then he popped a new battery in here oh god damn and put a bilge pump on it which he didn't have prior to this so I should pull the lock down, but I'm not going to. So it's got a brand new battery and he did put a new fuel pump in it. So it also has a new fuel pump. So all of this has been redone. Uh, the only thing I still have to do is slightly put this back on there. The air system, airway system right there needs to be popped back on. Other than that, it's good to go. So yeah, big old four stroke supercharged jet ski. So this thing's a, a ripper. I heard it run, it runs awesome. Uh, it's quite the machine um, But like I said, he just wired in a bilge pump because it didn't have one prior to this so now it has a bilge pump on off <laughs> So good for him. I'm glad uh, he took the initiative. He's meticulous about things like I am So that's good. That's good. So there you go. Uh, I bought a supercharged uh, 2000 oops Damn it, I didn't put that back. Whatever, put it back in a second. Bought a 2006 supercharged jet ski with a whole, like, everything's just been redone at this point. So he was going to get started on all the outside stuff, but then his girlfriend's like, I don't like the way this thing hits waves. So he bought a different jet ski, took me out back, showed me his new one. So basically, and I do remember when I was riding Ron's, because he had a 2005 RXP uh, the year prior to this, uh, and we took his out, that one did slam waves pretty hard so i think I, I know what she's talking about though it was more stable than my two-stroke jet ski i had um it still plows waves pretty hard um so it just doesn't have the weight that a lot of the bigger jet skis have now and the stability um, but for the year it was released it's gonna be awesome for just me and the girlfriend uh, i've got some trips planned for this thing so i got it for a fairly good deal i still paid a lot these four-stroke jet skis cost a lot more than the two strokes for obvious reasons they require less maintenance and as long as you don't beat the living piss out of these things, they last a while. Every 140 hours or 140, 150 hours, you have to rebuild the supercharger. This jet ski only has 120 hours on it. Um, so, I mean, it barely has any hours. <laughs> it just doesn't have much hours on it. Uh, so he just did the entire maintenance service on it log uh, before selling it. So I basically just got a fully maintained jet ski for, you know, a fairly good price.
So those airways that run in there, like I said, I have to finish that return shoot. I have the stuff inside to do that. Um, but I, that's a task for another day. Let's say that. So there you go. There's Dan's new toy. You guys will see some fun summer videos with this. Um, I have ideas. I have places I want to go that uh, my two-stroke jet ski, I just didn't feel confident doing it because it wasn't a four-stroke and just they're a lot more hassle. You get them out of the water and they constantly need tinkering and all sorts of stuff and they kind of run great some days and then other days they don't. Well, these ones just run great all the time. As long as you don't beat them up, they run great all the time. Change the oil. It's basically just like having a car engine. Just change the oil and don't beat it up. Don't start it next to the beach and suck a bunch of sand into the jet drive. And like, just be smart about what you're doing. And these things have been known to go for like a thousand hours or more with no issues. So I've only got 120 hours on it, you know. And basically everything has been rebuilt and redone. So I, I literally have nothing to stress about. So yeah, there you go. I just wanted you guys to see the new play toy. So of course, new bike, new play toy. I got it. Dan has to have his toys. I, I have to. You know, we got that jet ski last year and I had such a blast. I was like, but then I rode my buddy's supercharged one. I was like, oh my God. So bought another bike and I was like, fuck it. I'm going to get a crazy jet ski this year. So this produces 240 whopping ass horsepower of craziness. Um, top speed's like 70, 72, something like that. And you can ECU tune them if you want them to go faster. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't perceive that we're going to do that. Um, I highly doubt I am not a person that likes to beat their stuff up too hard. So this thing will probably only see around 55 most of the time. I don't think we'll be beating it senseless. Um, there's no point because RPMs is what kills jet skis. Hard, aggressive riding is what kills these things and makes them need maintenance constantly. So uh, we're, we bought it more just to tool around on, have some fun, and bash a few waves. No stunting or crazy tricks. I Every once in a while, I might open it up just so that she can have a little wee moment. And, you know, but uh, other than that, I don't, I don't see the point. So, yep. Cool. All right. Well, there you go. Sweet. New toy. Uh, I got to go get it legal and all that. He said go for it. Right now, it's on his tag and title. He said just don't be stupid. Make sure you have life jackets and you can ride on that registration if you want to for now until you do yours. And I was like, cool. So that's what we're going to do. He's got it registered up to uh, 02 of 26. Um, for the first month, I'm probably just going to leave his registration on there. So that's probably what we're going to do. Anyways, catch you guys on the flip. Toodles.